Tayer, tell me about home, where you're from, what it was like growing up. See, uh, I'm originally, you know, born and raised in Newark, New Jersey. Now, I was raised in a single parent household. You know, my mom raised me and, you know, my fourth siblings. It was different, you know, it was exciting to say the least. You know, it's a you know, rough city, you know, crime infested, gang infested, all types of stuff going on. And, you know, just one of those areas where, you know, you, you're lucky to make it out. Did you always have big NFL dreams or what was your thought process growing up? What did you want to be? Thought process growing up, you know, I, I really didn't put much thought into it uh, until I got to high school. Um, I realized I had the opportunity to go to college. I realized I wanted more for myself and, you know, it really dawned on me that none of my family members ever went to college. So for me, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I have the I, I play, you know, I'm pretty good at football. I have an opportunity to earn a scholarship. But playing in the NFL was never actually a dream of mine. I wanted to actually be a New Jersey State Trooper. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Was it always football or did you play other sports? Always football. Um, I tried to play basketball. Uh, you know, I, w I was pretty good, but I just wasn't tall enough. They tried to make me play center. I'm like, wait, hold on. I'm 6'1". <laughs> I'm you want me to battle under the, you know, under the rim with this seven footer? I, I'm like, I don't know about all that. Uh, and then I did track for a little while, but football, you know, it was always football for me. And at what point was it in high school? Did you have a coach come to you and say, hey, you can make a profession out of this? No, it, uh, it was in high school. My, my, it was, uh, he's still to this day, you know, one of the biggest influences in my life, uh, Brian Logan. He was my high school coach. He was uh, on the police force in Newark for about 30 years. And he recently, he just retired about a year, so, yeah, last year. So he, he just told me, you can go to college. You know, that he, we, we just short, uh, set short-term goals. He was like, look, you know, next thing after high school is just get to college and then go from there. Um, you know, I, n I never was the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, but I always worked hard. I always, uh, I was able to get over just off my effort. And, you know, I got to college and it was pretty much the same thing. First two years, you know, just worked my way through. Junior year, got the chance to start and then had some solid seasons. And then next thing I know, hey, you know, you can come to the combine. And I'm like, oh man, this is real, this is serious. I got opportunity. Good. Thanks for coming up. Well, you had an opportunity this past year to do something that most players would not, and that's buy your mother a house. Take me through that process. Was that something that you always wanted to do since you realized you could make a career in football, and was it a surprise for her? No, it, it wasn't a surprise to uh, for her. You know, she was involved on in the whole process, and um, it was exciting, extremely exciting. One of the uh, the happiest moments of my life being able to do that uh, growing up, you know, as I said, you know, she was the uh, she was the only one. She was our rock. You know, everything that we had in the house were, was because of her. She worked her tail off to make sure that she provided for us. You know, there's been times where we had a broke down car and you know we break down on the side of the road. And I remember being uh, feeling helpless as a kid or as a teenager, like man, you know, I can't even do anything. That was the greatest gift I felt that uh, I can give to my mom and you know I was fortunate I was blessed to be in a position to do that. What was that moment like for her? Tears I assume? Yeah oh uh, definitely you know tears of joy. Was it your wedding day the video that I just saw because it was unbelievable I mean this is stuff that you see in the movies not in real life. Uh, it was actually a surprise for me um, you know I just let my wife uh, Shannon do her thing you know when we first uh, when we were married we did it in, a, um, in our living room, and you know that was a that was our fifth, five year anniversary. So I was like, okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna just just go for it. Whatever you want. You get, once you wanted the opportunity to wear the dress, and you know get up there and renew our vows in front of the family and have everyone involved, and. You know, my mom, she was like, she was excited, you know, just being there. She was, you know, blown away about, you know, everything, the flowers, the scenery, everything. Just everyone had an extremely great, uh, great time. You know, the food was great, the venue, everything. One big party. I'm sure all the guests Indeed. still remember it. Oh, we, they, we still, they still talk about it till this day. Still post pictures and send us, man, yeah, every, see everyone smiling and, you know, the kids, you know, all three of our boys were involved. They're, it was amazing all the way around. Three. Two, one, blast off. Hey, get to the safe area.
Your boys are very involved in your social media account. You post pictures all the time and they're adorable. What's the household like? It's no days off. <laughs> you know, from the moment I get through the door, as soon as they hear that ding on the alarm, daddy, daddy, and you just hear them upstairs yelling. At my my two-year-old, he runs to the top of the steps. My four-year-old, Todd, he runs down the steps. Hey, hey, you know, they're jumping on me. They're on my neck, they're on my arm. You know, my nine-year-old, TJ, he's just around me. You know, so the moment I walk in, it's like, okay, you know, it's transition from being, you know, the you know, number 59 for the Oakland Raiders to okay, now and I'm I'm just that. Just keep getting the ball back to the O. Just keep getting it back to him. You got to make him earn it. Let's go. Well, it's not just the beautiful family that you put on social media. You're really into posting inspirational quotes. I think on the day, like, it's a lot of distractions in the world today. You know, a lot of stuff that can get you down, you know, a lot of negativity and most of my inspiration, it comes from either, you know, I'm, I'm quoting mu music lyrics. It's uh, from the, uh, the verse of the day on the Bible, you know, scripture. It's something that you know, some of my mentors have say, uh, said to me. Wherever it is, you know, I'm always in my ears and, you know, my mind is always open and just allowing everything to just flow through me because it's imperative that, you know, people get those messages because uh, sometimes it hits home for me. And I'm like, man, this can really touch someone else. So. Let me shoot, let me let me put this out there. And for the most part, people, you know, contact me and they say, man, you know, I, I really needed this today. That was that was a great post, you know, uh, you know, just from the post about family, the inspirational stuff. They're like, man, you're really doing it, you know, keep it up. So, you know, I, I really feed on, you know, those messages and that's what, you know, really keeps me motivated and you know, I'm a positive person, so uh, you know, that's how I like to live my life.